Hey guys, I hope you're all keeping well. If you're new, my name is Julie. I just wanted to show you today this super cool mask that I purchased from Smith's Toys. It is the Par FX Vibranium Mask. Now it was $19.99 and I bought it for $14.99. The mask is made by Asbro. And as you can see, it has this really beautiful sort of scroll detailing here. It has a really cool sort of tribal detailing. Really, really nice work. Now, of course, this mask is made out of plastic, but there's two super cool things about it, and it's the two things that actually made me purchase this mask straight away. This part here lights up, and it'll be super easy for you because there only is one sort of switch on one of the ears, the other ear doesn't have one. So there's a switch here, and if you press it, how cool, guys. And if I press it again, it just stays as a still light so the first one was sort of like a pulsating light and the third time you press it turns it off. Over the eyes it's sort of like a translucent purple that you have here and there is a lever here and you just push that up. It's really cool that it has this visory part on the mask. I really love the colour. It also comes with adjustable straps. It's really simple, there's a part that comes down from the top and a part that goes over the side and it is adjustable. In the middle here there's a little soft part for your nose to sit on so it is comfortable because it is soft. This mask only requires one AA battery. The only thing I would say is this is more geared towards kids guys if I'm honest. Sort of fitting wise I mean it would fit on an adult, it fits me, it does fit an adult head but what I'm trying to say is not I mean it's comfortable enough but to be honest I feel like I would have to take the nose ridge area, the, the rubber part from inside the mask away for it to fit me better but that probably wouldn't work so I'm just going to keep it there guys but when I put it on I think I have a larger head than most adults so it probably would fit most adults but for me around the chin area you can see part of my face and part of my chin at the bottom. But I suppose if you had like the full costume on you wouldn't really notice but that's just my opinion of course. So along with the box that I got which is here you get like a little book for all the instructions and everything. So yeah all you need is a double A battery and you're good to go. The negatives about this mask that I have anyways is the light. I love the light and they did a really good job on it but as you can see in a moment it is about to turn itself off no matter what you have it on see it's turned itself off already so that's pretty quick you know if a child you know has this mask you know they might sort of find it a bit annoying having to constantly turn it on every 15 seconds um, but obviously this isn't for a kid this mask is I bought this mask personally for myself <laughs> the girl at the counter actually said Do you want a gift receipt and I said no it's for me and I can't see me wanting to bring a Black Panther mask bag and she said oh really? I said yeah he's one of my favourite characters like I don't care when people look at me weird for loving Marvel. The other thing is guys there's no sound effects I mean I think they could have had T'Challa or you know obviously Black Panther as he's of course also known as I would have liked to have seen maybe a few sentences or maybe something you know some sort of kick-ass move sounds or something you know, just something like that. Sound effects, basically, I would have liked to have seen. But all in all, I would have to give this mask about an 8 out of 10. But I have don't really have major complaints because I bought this just for myself as something to have because I love Black Panther. But I do like the work that they've put into it. I like all the little inscribings that have been made, especially around the nose area. It is a bit blurry, guys, but I just wanted to show you what the light is like completely in the dark. And that was pretty much me in the dark, guys, except for a bit of light that was coming through my dining room door. I would give this Asbro Par FX Vibranium Mask about an 8 out of 10 because, as I say, I would have liked to have seen sound effects and the light that could have did extra work with that. I mean they did it well but they should have went the extra mile in my opinion. The other slight thing I forgot to mention is the chin area you can feel it is a bit sort of more what would you call like not as sturdy as the rest of the mask. Up at the round the top is very sturdy. Oh my goodness. T'Challa don't fall on me please. Uh, so yeah they could have maybe made the chin a bit better sort of durability wise. 
But apart from that, all in all, guys, I'm a happy, I'm a happy girl today. Let me all know what you think. I think $14.99 was a very good and reasonable price. Aside from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber of mine, if you could please consider subscribing, that would mean the world to me, of course. If you're a Star Wars fan of mine, may the force be with you. Bye, guys.